Okay, then we're going to get to that 58 seller. 12. Cam, you coming to the National, brother, over the summer? Would love to meet you. Be fun. Probably we all go out and grab a drink or something. Oh, anybody. Anybody that's there, we'll go grab a drink. It'll be fun. Top card goes to Chad B. And then Chad, 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 Eric, Eric, Michael, uh, D, Chad, Eric, and Eric each get 85 Tiffany spots. How many spots do we have left in the winner take off? All right. All right, it's time for that 58 football cello. I mean, we killed it on the 72 football rack. All right, guys, let me just take a look here. We got this great high-end hit random. There is... Yup, Chad G. There's 10 spots left, guys. 10 spots left on the... Uh, on that. All right, what are you doing? 58 football sell. I think it's time. And uh, I know that uh, Charles G's here. I got his goggles ready to go. Now, guys, there's something a little special about this 58 cello, just so you know. It says so on the website, just so you know. This is a 12-spot, a 12-card pack, but there's only 10 spots that were sold. So what does that mean? So that means... That the top card and the bottom card will be will be randomed. We're gonna random that, okay? So there'll be two winners. They're both and they both happen to be Hall of Famers. Top card being a uh, uh, Bart Starr. Bottom card Raymond Berry. So here's how it's gonna work. We're gonna skip the Bart Starr and we're gonna start. Card number one will be the card under the Bart Starr. And then we're going to go to the card right above the Raymond Berry. And then those two cards will be randomed at the end of the break. Spot one at the, at the end of that random will get the Bart Star. And spot two will get the Raymond Berry. Let me tell you something. Leighton felt that the cards had a little a little wear on them because the pack may have a, a, like a little bit of a of a slice. And uh, I just, you know, like very, very little touch of wear on the bottom left on here, it looks like. So I think Leighton was overly generous. Uh, and giving these two cards away for free to those folks in the break. So props to Leighton for that. And let's uh, let's randomize this list and get at it. Five. I mean, you really are very kind because I'm very excited about this. But but like you're there's only a touch of wear. It's very nice of you to do that. I know it's expensive. And there's another Hall of Famer on the back. So I thought it'd be better to random them off. And, very nice. <clears throat> and so just wanted to clarify. We believe there's 12 cards, mm -hmm. which is why I wrote it up as such, because mm -hmm. we don't want to confuse people. For example, I could have I could have listed it as a ten card mm -hmm. or a ten spot in the title, and people, especially who are in the know of unopened collectors, are like, wait a minute, but there's twelve cards, a twelve card cello pack. So that's why, for folks who especially are new to the of the show mm -hmm. tonight and moving forward, we're always going to list what the total amount of cards is in that pack in the title, and any special notes. For example, in this case, we're not only um, we're not going to include the top and the bottom card. We're going to give them away. We're going to random them. Mm -hmm. So that means there should be 10 cards left. Obviously, simple math. However, I just want to make sure for those that are new, in the event, for example, that there's now an extra card, yeah. we're going to give it away, right? But if there's a short card from the 10, you're not counting Bart Starr, and you're not no. counting Raymond Berry regardless. Nope. So it's a 10-spot uh, random. If it happens to be one extra, well, that's wonderful. I hope it's Jim Brown. So let's talk about that. Sure. So the top two, the top and the bottom will yep. be random. Yep. If there happens to be eleven in between, that eleventh card goes to the first spot in the break. Yes, that's how we do things. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Make sure everybody. Well, explain that. You know, if they want to check out the rules, the FAQs. Yeah. Uh, it says all that, but I would explain that. You know, to make sure everyone understands. But very excited about the pack. It's gonna be awesome. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, chef says, "What's up?" Hey, what's up, chef? All right. So we got five on the random. Uh, what's up, Charles G? 
So, Brad? Can you just go back in the video and make sure that I rolled the five? Good I'm luck, pretty sure I did. Let's just double check to make sure I rolled it. Pretty sure I did. Only got to go back like three minutes. Yeah. If that. All right, guys. We're just confirming that I actually did roll the dice and came up with a five, and that I wasn't. Dis I got a little distracted. I just want to make sure that everything is done right here. So just hit, sit tight for a minute. It's Jeff, we did not. We will do the WTA after this. Trying to keep with the time here and the count and the schedule. You, you found it or no? Maybe Sam could do it too. He's usually pretty quick at it. Did I roll a five? Yes, he did. I rolled a five. You rolled a five. Confirmed. You sure? Confirmed. Okay. All right, guys, ready to go. Five times. One, two, three, four. No worries, Chef. Five. There it is. There's the order. I wish everybody lots of luck. If we have anything, Charles G, you missed an epic 72 football rack, man. We pulled like no less than 10 Hall of Famers. We pulled the Starback rookie. Definitely a, a candidate for a nine on the Starback. That was Michael Russo. So congrats again to Michael Russo. All right, man, here we go. In honor of my friend Charles G, got the uh, special goggles. There you go. Goggles, finish breaks. Let's get this pack crack a lacking. Never know with these things, guys. Never know. Got to be resourceful. I'm telling you, sometimes it's gangster. Sometimes I just gotta, I just gotta go that route. You know when you see like this thing just like hanging around somewhere, like you know, that's what happens. I am a savage. Okay, guys, remember card under under the Bart Star will be random at the end, as will the Raymond Berry. Hopefully, there's ten cards in between. Of course, if we're one card short, the last. Spot in the break, Dom would get a refund if we have one extra card or two extra cards. It starts with Joshua Lipton and John C. Let's go. Oh, this is sealed nice, too. Nice and tight. Guys, I was there when we pulled the 55 mantle. 
I'll tell you what. The Bart Star is sweet at spot one. Wow, Hall of Famer YA Tittle, spot two. By the way, take a look at this star. The bottom left, a little little soft, otherwise razor sharp. So that will be random at the end of the break. Spot one, Joshua Lipton, YA Tittle, Hall of Famer. For Joshua Lipton. John C., Howard Hopalong Cassidy. Spot two. Tell you what, if a Jim Brown comes out and it looks like card number three, I'm going to freak out. John C. Hop along Cassidy. Gordy Saltow. This is unbelievable. I'm opening a pack of 1958 football cello. This is just unreal. Am I really doing this right now? I'm watching it on the screen. I'm is like, wait a minute. You're going to scream. I need to just be here live. <laughs> Whoa. That next card looks dead nuts. This, what? Yeah. Like Tittle. Cassidy, yeah. So, well, yeah. Well, anything that's gradable, right on the house. That Gordon looks very nice. Yes, too. Look at that. This card looks ridiculous. He's a star, isn't if he? You got a Jim, I swear to God, if you got a Jim Brown that looked like that, you might have to call this. I said that. Because I'm at the hospital. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Jim Mutzscheller. Another Hall of Famer. Yeah. This is unbelievable how many Hall of yeah. Famers I'm pulling tonight. This is yeah. definitely gradable. Mm -hmm. Do you see how the corners on this card? I can't even hear what you're saying. Honestly. <laughs> I really can just focus on Jim Brown. Just see a three and a I just know I just need to see a brown border in the background to give us a shot. We pulled the Jim Brown out of his cell. I mean, this is prior to vintage breaks days. Hugh McElhaney. Oh Christmas, come on. This is a really great pack. Wow, this is an amazing pack. He was a Hall of Famer. So that's for Jim Chu. James Dodd. Oh, yeah, I used Charlie to have. Connerly. I'm going to tell you, I had two dozen of these packs years ago. Oh my God, another Jim Mutchell. I open these like people eat a coffee cake for breakfast. Yeah. I swear to God. For like a few months, I'm like, you know, I'm feeling a little, how you doing? I'm going to open up. How many did you have? Like, like a few dozen. And you just opened, how many Jim Browns did you pull? Just that one at the night? No, I pulled a few. And you graded them all? No, I put it under my bed. No, I don't know if it was before you were grading. I don't know if it was before grading. Big grading. Yeah, you can do this for 40, 35 years. Wow. How old do you think I am? 12. I understand. Boss? You're still a kid every time yeah, you open these. Yeah, I understand. This is unbelievable. Are you kidding me? This is nicer than the other one. So that's, Chef, you got a really nice car with the Hugh McElhaney. This is gradable. Oh, got a card for John. Looks like there's an extra card, by the way. I right. think there's a card under the dick. Oh, there has to, no, there has to be. Sorry. I'm just saying. It is... <laughs> So it, I didn't. <laughs> that we're not a sports collector's dick. Well, it, it's dick. No, what do you mean? Yeah, no. Listen, Gene, I understand. <laughs> no, Jimmy B. Spot nine. Still a great Brad. pack. Thanks, everyone. That was awesome. Oh, we're not. Yeah, and remember, we're still giving away two cards. Yeah. John Olszewski. So, how many Hall of Famers? We're in this pack. Yeah, make sure you get some good picks, please. Did you see the one I awesome. How great was the one I just sent you? Yeah, it was awesome. That was awesome, guys. Yes, guys, this was a great pack. Ton of Hall of Famers in here. So we got a Raymond Berry. So I'll tell you what, man. So Leighton was right on with the Berry. Bottom right, to give this away, by the way, the bottom right's a little off. I think he was overly cautious on the Bart Star. So someone who gets this star is going to be super happy. So here's what we got here, guys. We got Y.A. Tittle, Hall of Famer. We got Hugh McEl uh, McElhaney, Hall of Famer. In fact, we got two of them. So we got three Hall of Famers, then the Bart Star and a Raymond Berry. That's five. We're going to randomize these. Top card, top person in the random gets the Bart Star. Raymond Berry goes to spot number two. Okay? Russo, we will get a good pick of, of Dick Nolan just for you. Seven times. Good luck, everybody. One, two, three, four, five, six, and the chef with the Bart Star. Congrats, chef. Very nice for the chef. Raymond Berry goes to James Dahl.
Unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. Oh, boy, Brad. That's true. That is yours. Brad, can I get a permission? To, uh, did you get spot four? You didn't get, Brad. That wasn't you, man. Who? Uh, maybe it was. I got to check the order. Nope. So it looks like... Uh, I think it is yours. Brad, do we have permission to take a picture of your Dick Nolan card? Because if we do, we'll take it. I'm no, just kidding. We don't need permission. Anyway, that was pretty good. <laughs>